A Spokane drug dealer heading off to prison has won the right to be released from jail so he can be home with his family for Thanksgiving. Terry Kennard convinced a federal magistrate for a short furlough because of his mother's age and the length of his upcoming sentence. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live tonight with us. And Jeff, when did we start being so nice to convicted criminals? Well, Kennard's time out of jail for Thanksgiving represents just a fraction of the getaway that he was looking for. Kennard wanted for a week. The magistrate told him he has just four hours. All we try to do is just try to get a little time for my brother to come home and see his mom, you know. Even convicted criminals value being with their families during the holidays. Terry Kennard wants to be back in the home he grew up in because his mother is now 80 years old, and by the time Kennard's released, it may be too late. Because it might be the last time, like I said, she's getting up there in age. You know, and, she, and she's the greatest mother that he is. Jimmy Kennard is the mother in question, and her health and happiness must have figured prominently into a federal magistrate's decision to allow Kennard out of jail for Thanksgiving. But the furloughs limited to his mother's home and last just four hours. That's because records show Kennard has broken his promise to appear in court more than 70 times. The FTAs and these escapes and all this here. All of FTAs is from back when we was 18, 19, when you get tickets and, and what they're doing, they're just making it a big issue, thinking that he didn't miss court for so, so all these times, you know. To make sure Kennard returns to court this time, two officers, federal marshals or another agency, must guard him during his furlough. The cost of bringing that security team to Kennard's home must be paid by his family in advance and the Kennards doubt they can afford it. Now, finding two sworn officers willing to be away from their families on Thanksgiving will also be a challenge. Despite the money to be made, a lot of police and sheriff's deputies may turn down the job of guarding Kennard for purely ethical reasons. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.